What's going on everyone, it's Rifle here and thanks for checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one I'm going to be carrying on with my unique outfit series and I have to say the previous episode I did, whoa. I did not expect this much support but I just want to let you all know I am extremely grateful for it. If you do find this one enjoyable consider leaving a like, that's always greatly appreciated and hey maybe stick around and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. That's totally up to you though of course. But anyways let's go ahead and get into this already because there's a lot that I'm going to be showing you. The first one and personally one of my favorites out of these 10 that I'll be showing you is the mole rat outfit. You can find this located over at Dolly Sod's Wilderness which is right over here on the map as you can see. This is my surroundings right now before going inside the location of where it's at. So yeah, you just want to come up in here. There will be quite a bit of enemies to take on. I've already taken them out for the purpose of recording the location. But yeah, you just simply want to come over here. Actually, as you can see, you can see the mask right there. Sometimes it won't spawn, I will say. And if it doesn't spawn, you just simply want to hop servers at your best bet or wait maybe 30 minutes or so to see if it resets. But yeah, check it out. Tattered mole outfit. Tattered mole head. And a mole miner gauntlet to go with the outfit. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, it's just a, just a rad roach. Oh, the irony. Mole rat meat right next to it. Oh my gosh, all the mole rat meat. What the heck? And also keep in mind, if you don't have a high enough pick locking skill, that is alright. All you have to do is just simply go over here, jump on this, jump right on top of the roof. And then from there, you just simply want to make your way around. And bada bing, bada boom, you're inside. Then you have to pick the lock. So yeah, just keep that right in mind if you are having a little bit of trouble with the door. Maybe you don't have a bobby pin or something, I don't know. Anyways, as you can see though, here's what it looks like on a character. I will say if you are a female and you put this outfit on, no one's going to be able to tell you are a female whatsoever. I mean, your body just looks way more built in this. And also not to mention, of course, the mask covers your face. By the way, I just want to let you all know real quick that I will be previewing each outfit or outfits at the end of each location guide. So yeah, just keep that in mind in case you may be wondering what any of these outfits may look like on a character. I will be previewing each and every one in this video. Anyways, let's go ahead and get on to the next one. This next one I'll be showing you is a tin foil hat that you can get. Oh my gosh. This one is pretty simple to locate. You're just gonna have to come over by Berkeley Springs, as you can see. It'll be located right over here, off the path, in this trailer. Now this trailer has some interesting drawings around on it as well. I'll go ahead and show you that here in a second. But as you can see, there's a tin foil hat on this guy right here hugging this safe. Let's go ahead and check out what's in this safe. What was so important to him? Oh, yeah. Well, that came out weird. All right, so, yeah, that's that. Of course, keep in mind, this is random loot. This isn't set in stone. But yeah, let's take another look at these um, drawings. You can see it looks like an alien saucer abducting someone out in a field, I guess. That's what that's signifying. Go ahead and put on my tinfoil hat, why not? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyways, there's also some other little drawings over here too. You see a bunch of question marks. And once again, some alien saucers. Very mysterious, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. And also check this out. A plunger attached to the alien saucer drawing. Oh no, this place is definitely interesting. But that's enough of this, let's try to keep this short, simple and straight to the point. Let's go ahead and get on to the next one. Alright, so there will be four different outfits at this one location, one being just a military cap. I'm also going to be throwing in a bonus location of a union hat to complete the union uniform at this area, which by the way, you can get a Civil War era suit and hat outfit, a Confederate outfit, a union uniform, as well as a military cap here. But here's the location that you want to head up to, up here at the uh, Philippi Battlefield Cemetery. Once you're here, you just simply want to make your way inside. And inside here, there's quite a bit of places that you can look around to find some outfits, and not to mention some weaponry as well. But yeah, as you can see, Civil War era suit laying right here on this counter. Also, if you come back here and press this button, you have a chance at a Union uniform being located in this case, not to mention black powdered weaponry around in this area. Also, be sure to check underneath the counter too 
There's some goodies that you can loot. But down here is where you can find a Civil War era dress, as you can see here. The button is located right to your left as soon as you walk down the stairs. And a Civil War era dress will be located in this glass case here, along with the Confederate uniform too. Anyway, some more outfits located in this area. If you head upstairs, you can press this button and you can find some other outfits laying inside the glass case. Not to mention some goodies that you may want. Also on this side over here, same thing. These glass cases will open. So yeah, that's basically it inside this museum. If you head out over here in the cemetery area, you can find a military cap located right on this. Also something extra to throw in to complete the Union outfit. If you're looking for the Union hat, there is one that can spawn over here. I will say it is a dangerous trek over here because there can be a death claw, there can be scorched beast. Ah, it's a lot of fun. If you noticed on the map, I did die uh, experiencing that. But either way, at the top of this area, there are some graves up here. Specifically over here, you can find the Union hat on this grave, and also you can find an asylum worker hat next to it. So, yeah. If you want, feel free to take this hike over here. Once again, I will say it can be kind of dangerous. Okay, so what these look like, starting with the Civil War era dress, just because I have to say it looks nice. And here is the other Civil War era style, both looking really solid. Here is the full Union uniform outfit. I really like the bag on the back on this one. But lastly for this location, as you can see, this is what the Confederate outfit looks like with the military cap. Keep in mind, of course, we all have the freedom to mix and match whatever. Okay, so the next unique outfits that I'll be showing you how to get is the Mr. Fuzzy costume and also the Mr. Fuzzy mining helmet. But it is way more of a challenge to get this cat costume. Golly. Anyways, you can get these over at Camden Park. It can be quite a journey to get over here at the bottom left of the map. But once you are here, if this is your first time approaching Camden Park, you should get a quest called Mistaken Identity. And you will have to do this quest in order to get the costume. Sooner or later though, within the quest, you will clock in. And that is how you start playing these games that reward you with tokens. Now keep in mind, the Mr. Fuzzy outfit, if you are going for that, costs a whopping 450 tokens. This is a grind, I will say, because you only get three tokens after each little game that you can do here. At least the rewards aren't that bad. I mean, you can have a potential chance at getting a legendary. You also can get some caps, as well as super stem packs, regular stem packs. I mean, you get the point. The loot isn't all that bad. And not to mention, you get 300 experience completing each game. Anyways, where you go to actually get this Mr. Fuzzy costume, which is once again going to be a grind Nine. to get. 450 tokens in total in order to get this outfit. Whew. But yeah, it's located right over here behind the trading post in this shack next to the boss. As you can see on this terminal, you can see the prizes that you can get. And at the bottom there, we have the Mr. Fuzzy costume for 150 tokens and the Mr. Fuzzy costume head for 300 tokens. But in a way, it is a good thing for the grind being so time consuming because you're going to look really unique and different around in the wasteland. And as for the Mr. Fuzzy mining helmet, sure, it's not nearly as much of a challenge to get, but nonetheless, at least it's something different from your regular old mining helmet. And also something that's pretty cool about this place, Camden Park is an actual amusement park that you can go to in real life in West Virginia. Most of these locations around on the Fallout 76 map are real life locations that we could go to. It's pretty cool. Okay, so next up here I'm going to be showing you where the Fashion Man mask is, as well as the Stray Jacket. So I'm going to combine those two as one outfit. And also I'm going to be showing you where the Asylum Worker outfit is too within this next location. It'll be located over here at Fort Defiance. As you can see, that's what it looks like. And you just want to head on inside the front doors, which by the way, I can now officially jump high because I have been mutated. So just forewarning in case you're wondering how in the world am I jumping so high. But yeah, once you enter inside the place, you simply want to bust a right, head down this hallway. At the end of this hallway, bust a left, then bust another right right here, and head down this hallway. I could just jump up if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take the stairs like a normal person. And then once you get to the top here, you don't want to go that way. You want to go this way. This is a good indicator, the skeleton chilling on that couch. But 
when you enter inside this place it should be the door on the left over here not that way but over here as you can see poking his eyes over the mattress here staring us down but yeah that's where this is located at as well as the stray jacket now there is plenty of other stray jackets inside this place so keep that in mind but anyways from here the next outfit that you can get inside this place which keep in mind there is other locations of this outfit but one for sure is right over here on this as you can see asylum worker uniform weathered and also there's a hat here too a yellow one. Oh, and by the way if you want a weathered hat just to be matching you can just simply go down this way go left here we're basically just gonna be progressing through the building if you get lost just you know simply rewind the video it's the power of videos but yeah just go across this little bridge and right as soon as you enter inside here it'll be on the left this should be a weathered asylum hat but there you have it that completes this outfit location guide for fallout 76 and as you can see this is what the mask and stray jacket looks like combined keep in mind the mask can go great with a lot of other apparel too and here is the asylum outfit this kind of gives me the vibes of a nurse in silent hill but yeah, that's about wrapping up this Fallout 76 unique outfit location guide. Hopefully this video helped you out in some kind of way because I will say it did take quite a bit of time to put together. If you found this enjoyable, consider leaving a like. That's always greatly appreciated. And hey, maybe stick around and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. And if you don't like what you see in the future, just simply unsubscribe. At least, you know, you gave me a chance. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Until next time, peace.